Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Mwangi. If you are watching this for the very first time, kindly subscribe, like or even leave a comment. Today we look at pressure and we start with the state the Pasco principle. The Pasco principle states that pressure applied at one point is transmitted equally to all the parts of the enclosed liquid. Part 2. The figure below represents a section of hydraulic machine. The area of the piston is 0 0.03 and 0 0.5 respectively. So we find the pressure at A, which is force at A divided by area at A. The pressure, the force at A is 60, so 60 divided by 0 0.03. Uh, that would give us the pressure experienced at point A. So 60 divided by 0 0.03 which give us 2 we have 6 thousand divided by 3 we get 2000 newton per meter squared. Then maximum force that can be lifted by the system. So pressure at A is equal to pressure at B. So the other end we should have B, not A. So therefore 2000 will be equal to force at B divided by area at B. And we have already been provided with the area at B. So therefore pressure at uh, or force at B uh, will therefore be so we have been provided with the 0.5 as the area at B. So force at B will therefore be equal to 2000. We multiply by 0.5. 2000 multiply by 0.5 and we are going to get 1000 Newton. 1000 Newton. So then give two reasons why oil and not water is selected for use in the system so two reason why oil and not water is selected for use in the system so one reason uh, the oil has a low melting point and a high boiling point and oil is not corrosive that is uh, another point so the other point is uh, oil has a high or has a low melting point and uh, a high boiling point and a high boiling point And that is it. So these are concept in form one and the topic pressure. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe. Thank you.